Hey guys, I recently did a video with the T-Rex 4 Sport on the upgrading your steering with like a homemade support from one side of the chassis to the actual panhard mount. Now this Sport has the Bronco chassis with the uh, Bronco plastic inner fenders. And what I found while recording that video was the bottom mount, the panhard mount right over here, really flexes a lot. So a few of you mentioned that you would like to see me install this. So... I'm going to put this in and I'm going to show you guys the differences between the stock mount and this so you can make the determination yourself whether you want to pick this up. There are links in the description below. So let's get busy. To get this project started, you're going to want to remove your front tires. Now I also put an aluminum set of links on the back just because, well, why not? Now for this test, I've got a Holmes Hobbies 12 turn Trailmaster Sport 550 with a 16 tooth pinion gear on it. And uh, you're gonna to wanna to take this bolt out, that bolt. You're also gonna to wanna to re remove the panhard bar bolt, bolt right there. And then once you have those out, there are two more bolts, one, two, three, four, that you just simply pull the uh, link mounts right off. With the links out of the way, you can see the other bolts I was just telling you about. And those have to come out and just simply swap in the aluminum pieces. Now this one is just simply two bolts, unbolt it, bolt the new piece in. This one's got those same two bolts, but like the one I showed you before, got the pan hard bolt up in the front. The new pieces are just like the old pieces and there's actually a recess in that to actually fit these correctly. So if you find these not bolting into place, you may have it upside down. Just flip it over, make sure that that indentation right there, the recess goes right up against there because you can see where it actually sits. Get that set up in there, bolts right into place. The new hot racing piece is a direct bolt in. I mean, perfectly the same way. It's got the same recess on it, so you can't put this in backwards. If you did put it in backwards, the pan hard bar would be under the axle. You really don't want that. So just simply bolt it right back into place. Everything bolted up perfectly. Now, just a word of advice, you may want to use some real weak thread lock to hold your bolts in place because sometimes they will have a tendency to come loose when you're bolting into aluminum stuff. So, but anyway, there it is. I'm going to put the tires back on, take it outside and see what it's got.
So those aluminum link mounts from Hot Racing made a huge difference. I didn't realize how much the plastic one actually flex until the past video. But man, when I did the before, the truck stayed there. When I did the after with the Hot Racing uh, link mount, it actually had enough, the servo had enough power transferred to the wheels that actually pulled it back in off the line that it was sitting on. That was impressive. The rest of it, well, that was just for fun. And hopefully you guys like the video and there's always links in the description for the Hot Racing pieces and more. I mean, there's more on this truck than just the hot racing. So anyway, guys, thank you all for watching.